Well, I got a good one here, my folks, my friends. Um, I got a, what year is this Hyundai? 17 Hyundai, I don't know, Sonata, something like that. It really don't matter what the car is because of what this guy did to this guy's car. He brought his car to me, had a misfire cylinder number two. Oh, I forgot the preamble. The likes are nice, subscribes are better. Uh, ring the bell if you want to watch more videos, question, comments, feel free. Anyways, so I sent him to the parts store on my account to buy a coil, number two coil, because I took the coil out and if you see right there, it's an arc, what we call a carbon track, arc mark, whatever. Oh, my damn phone, there it goes. Look, see how it looks kind of burnt? That is from the 60,000 volts of electricity coming out of this coil leaking through the boot and hitting the side of the, the spark plug tube. Normally they're filled with spark plug fluid because the valve cover gasket leaks and fills them with oil and that destroys them, but in this case it just naturally leaked out. How many miles on this thing? 110,000, I guess that's, I can't say anything bad about that. It looks pretty much like an original coil, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's been replaced. Alright, I didn't think a Hyundai coil was going to last 110,000 miles. But anyways, so the guy at the parts store thought he was a mechanic, and he decided he was going to plug in the coil and put it in there because he thought it was real easy. Now, I don't know if you can see... Okay, there we go. You see how those pins are bent? There's three pins, four pins. And... One, two, I, God, I can't get a video of it. Let me get my, well, there we go. See all those pins bent? Really hard, there we go. Really hard to see, but you can see all the pins are bent. If you look at that one, see all the pins are straight. I mean, you can't even tell where the pins are. They're all bent all over the place. So what he did when he unplugged it, he pulled the cover off of the plug, which it's supposed to have that on it, and he didn't know what he was doing, he didn't pay attention, and he tried to plug it back in, and well, you see what he did. Now, he left that part of it, which is, I'm gonna put it back on the plug, thank God that it's still in there, because otherwise I don't know how I could get it, maybe get it plugged in. It'd be really tricky. I'm gonna try to straighten out the pins. Um, see, that's supposed to see how the pins are nice and straight. I guess I should have took it out to show you. I'm gonna make another video of it so I can show the parts store. But yeah, he left that in there. Anyways, uh, my point is something that looks that simple on a vehicle, and if the improperly trained person does it, it turns into a disaster like this. So, be careful who you let work on your car. And I know the guy didn't mean harm. He was just trying to help him out. But that's why he sells parts and he doesn't fix cars. There. Nice and bent. Um, all I could say is thanks for tuning in. This is a good one. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I know what I'm doing. All right, everybody. Have a good night. And stay tuned for more episodes.